Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today's video is very important for anyone who has ever considered taking testosterone medication, uh, specifically injections, creams, or pills. Now whether it's for hormone or testosterone replacement therapy, or simply for just you know gaining muscle. Now I actually get a lot of questions about this topic and I wanted to share an email I got from Davis. Now he writes, uh, Dear Dr. Sam, I'm in a big mess. I'm 48 years old and my doctor put me on testosterone injections because I had low T. I'm doing 200 milligrams every two weeks. The first month was good. I had more energy, higher libido, and felt happier. But now, three months later, the reverse has happened. My sex drive is gone. My testicles have shrunk. I'm losing head hair and my nipples are itchy and puffy. I read that this is the beginning of getting man boobs or gynecomastia. After every shot, I also break out into pimples for a few days like a teenager. So I finally decided to stop taking the shots and oh my lord, things got even worse. My doctor says I need to do more blood work, but he doesn't have time to see me for another two weeks. What should I do right now? Please help. I'm desperate. Now unfortunately, this problem is actually very common with exogenous testosterone, meaning from the outside. Typically, again, with the use of injections, pills, or creams. Now, most doctors don't know what they're doing when they're prescribing such powerful hormones. Listen, the endocrine system, the hormones, is a is very complicated, and the average, you know, general practitioner doctor is clueless. Heck, even most endocrinologists, which are hormone doctors, screw things up. Now, as you may know, this is actually my area of expertise as a doctor. My degree is in medical pharmacology with the emphasis in endocrinology and anti-aging medicine. So I know the details about drugs and how hormones work and how all these things work together. And trust me, science barely knows how the human body works, let alone for each individual person and their specific genetics. Now, before I address Davis's problem and help fix it, in the next minute or two will seem a little bit complicated. However, if you've ever considered taking testosterone, you're currently on it, you really must watch this video. But don't worry, I will simplify it all at the very end. First of all, Davis needs to actually go back on the testosterone injections right away. You see, by not taking any testosterone, there is a big imbalance, and the ratio of female hormones is actually higher than the testosterone, the male hormone, and that's why he's about to get gynecomastia, the man boobs, and he has no sex drive and basically just you know, feels like junk. Basically, he's got more estrogen than testosterone. Now, I don't know his medical history or his genetics, so I can't advise any more. However, if he was my patient, things would be done very, very differently. First of all, shots would be taken not once every two weeks, but at a minimum of once a week and preferably twice a week. Just take a lower dose, but more often. So instead of taking 200 milligrams every 14 days, you would take 100 milligrams every seven days or preferably 50 milligrams every three days or just twice a week. Testosterone injections, which is a sipinate or an anthonate ester, are typically in your system for about a week. So you get a big initial spike for the first three days, then there's a drop by day five, and then you're back to normal by day seven. And then from day eight to 14, you know, week number two, you're actually below normal. That's why Davis would get zits after, the, after every shot. There was this huge surge in testosterone again that led to getting pimples. Now, the second problem is that testosterone converts to estrogen in your system through various uh, enzymes, more specifically the aromatase enzyme. Plus, the higher your body fat, the higher your estrogen. And the older you are, the higher your aromatase enzyme and thus even more estrogen. So, once Davis takes his testosterone shot, his estrogen will start to go up and thus lower and deplete the testosterone. Basically, the testosterone converts more to estrogen and you don't want that you're losing all of the benefits of the testosterone by converting to estrogen. So you need to take an estrogen or aromatase inhibitor to prevent the increase in estrogen so your testosterone continues to stay high and up. This is why smaller, more frequent uh, shots are best because there, there aren't these high spikes of estrogen. Also, higher estrogen typically leads to higher prolactin levels, which is another female hormone. This further causes more sexual problems and also hair loss. Now, speaking of hair loss, testosterone also converts to another hormone called DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which is the hair loss hormone. So this side effect also now needs to be addressed uh, through an, a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. You've probably heard of Propecia or Proscar. These are more uh, popular medications. However, many guys, many guys become impotent taking these drugs. 
So it's best to do it naturally through various supplements, and zinc is very good for that as an example. Now, in regards to why after three months, Davis just doesn't quote unquote feel it anymore, and on top of it, his testicles have shrunk, this is because when you take exogenous testosterone, again, from the outside, whether it's injections, pills, or creams, you signal your testicles to stop producing testosterone. You see, there's no need for them to produce any testosterone since you're adding it in from the outside with a drug. And because your testicles are no longer needing to produce any testosterone, they shrink in size. So a good doctor would have also prescribed Davis another drug called HCG. Simply stated, HCG tells your testicles to continue producing testosterone and thus your testicles don't shrink. All right, so the complicated stuff is over. Now, let me just uh, give you the bottom line. And I can go on and on with this, but I hope you get the point. Basically, taking testosterone medication has many benefits, okay? However, it's a lifelong commitment. You need a really good doctor to monitor everything. You need to take additional drugs, at least two or three extra ones, just to manage the side effects of the testosterone. You also need to do regular blood tests to see how your body is reacting month after month, year after year. And all of this is time consuming and expensive. Now my suggestion is that before you start with the testosterone medication, why not try to boost it naturally? It's much safer, it costs way less money, it works, and it doesn't have any of the negative side effects. And then, listen, if the natural method doesn't work after a few months of trying it, then go find yourself a really smart doctor and then start the testosterone medications. In fact, show him this video and see if he, quote unquote, gets it or not. Now, because, again, this is such a hot topic and I get so many questions about it, I have another YouTube video I want you to watch next, which I discuss the difference between testosterone injections and boosting your testosterone naturally. So go watch that video now and let me know your thoughts.